Hello, and welcome to this chapter in our ongoing series of tutorials that will help you get familiar with using Corel's Video Studio Pro X2. In today's short lesson, I'm going to go back to some basics of Video Studio X2 and discuss the best path to start with to create your movie. You may know that Video Studio has three starting points, with each one having various reasons for you to choose them. The ones that come to my mind are ease of use, the purpose of your movie, your production time constraints, and level of your video editing experience. As you can see by the Video Studio splash screen, which first shows up when you launch Video Studio, you have three choices on what interface and thus what tools are available when you enter. The easiest and the quickest, but also the least customizable, is at the bottom with the DV to DVD wizard. More advanced choices are the movie wizard with its theme templates and multiple source choices, and then the precision, frame by frame, and multi track choices of the Video Studio Editor. Let's take a quick look at each one. Let's select the DV to DVD wizard. First thing you'll notice is that the interface indicates the usage of film strips. That's because this method is specifically for and will only work with digital tape. So you connect your device to your computer and you can choose to quickly select the entire tape, add a theme, and burn to DVD. Or ask it to scan your tape, display the various scenes, choose which ones you want, hit next, choose a theme, and then burn a DVD. You can also customize and format the template's titles. To learn more, hit F1 to bring up the help file and search for DV to DVD wizard. In conclusion, use this path if you recorded on the digital tape and want a quick, easy way to burn a DVD with minimal, if any, customization. Okay, let's now choose the middle option, Movie Wizard. Now you have to close and relaunch Video Studio to get there. The Movie Wizard is another choice to consider if you are new to video editing or you want to quickly make a movie, but provides more choices and basic editing options. As you can see by the first screen, we can use clips from multiple sources, even images for our movie, not just DV tape. We can use a simple storyboard to arrange our clips and rotate images and video clips. So any of those clips you took at the wrong orientation, such as with a pocket size camera, can be fixed. As you keep going through the wizard, you're given choices that don't involve anything at the frame level, nor do you have to worry about aligning things in multiple tracks. You can even add themes to your movie as well as for the DVD intro and chapter screens too. Your choices are also extended at the end. Besides DVDs, you can create video files for your laptop, YouTube, and iPods. So use this wizard if you're comfortable with the choices it has available. If you want more control, use the top choice back in our launcher, the Video Studio Editor. One big bonus of the Movie Wizard is that you can do all these basics in the wizard, then take what you've completed into the Video Studio Editor for further refinement, getting a big chunk of your production out of the way quickly and easily. Let's do that, so you can see what the editor looks like with content in it. Okay, so I've added a few more things on the way in here, but notice the editor translated everything I created into the more advanced interface, allowing us to continue modifying our movie without skipping a beat. Because of the myriad of choices I now have, it's best that you have some experience using multiple tracks, or at least start with a simple project where you can take the time to see what tools are available and take some time to learn how to use them. There are other videos in this collection that can help you, and I always check the help system, F1, if I have questions on a specific feature. But notice what we have here, multiple tracks, including multiple overlay tracks. There are also mask and chroma key features, customizable video effects, customizable audio filters, multiple animated titles, transitions, and themes upon your output. Your output choices are similar again to what you saw in the movie wizard. Again, use this choice if you feel comfortable doing so, but also don't be afraid to venture here. The rewards can be fun and entertaining. Also use this choice if you want precision control over your movie. It's the best video tool I think for under $100. What other tool gives you so many choices at the creation level, from beginner to advanced, from easy and quick to detailed and customized. Well, thanks again, and I'll see you in a future lesson.